Woo! Week one, done. Seven days straight, it feels really good. Again, I only ran a mile, but still, a mile is like, it's a mile, you know? So, since week one is done, I was advised by an educator to only raise the amount I run by 10%. So this next week, week two, I'm gonna be running 1.1 miles. When I was running, I didn't really try to run for time. I wasn't really running like, all right, let's win. Let's gotta beat this time, we gotta go. I was simply running to run, just like pacing myself, because I haven't even stretched yet. I, I run the mile and then stretch. So my time naturally just kept going down because it's my body's like, you're running a mile again. Eventually I wanna get quicker at doing this so you can go on with your day and do other things. And that's why I wanna be running a mile at at least eight minutes. Right now it's at about 10.30. Today I ran actually 9.48. It was very wild, I was very happy. But I want to give you guys some tips. My tip for you is to take advice from anyone who could give you advice. Of course, I'm not saying listen to everyone that you um, come into contact with. But if this person is living a good life, if this person is doing stuff that you want to do, if this person looks like how you kind of want to look, maybe you might want to listen to them. It doesn't matter if they're older than you or younger. It doesn't matter if they have a degree or not. It just matters that they want to help you out. Here's another tip. Two tips in one video. Help is always there. Trust me. I know there's days where you think no one's on your side. They're from different spectrums, people are coming at you. You're just like, oh God, this sucks. My life sucks. I can't believe no one's here to help me. No one's on my side. That's just you thinking that way. Trust me, there's help out there. I've gotten help from people that I don't even talk to. It's crazy. I had a person in my life that I really never really talked to. I know I've known them because I went to grade school with them from first to fifth grade. Wasn't even in their grade. They're in my sister's grade, a grade above me. But fast forward 15 years, he sees that I'm a photographer. He sees that I'm trying to take pictures at shows and he messages me. He's just like, I got a couple lenses I don't really use. You want to borrow them? Like, I'd rather have someone use them. I was very shocked. I was like, dude, this guy literally owes me zero. I haven't even hung out with him like once in my life, but he's offering me equipment that cost over two grand for me to use because he's like, eh, some, someone might as well use them. That's when it hit me really like, dude, help is always there. You might not think it's always there, but trust me, it's there. So my two tips for you, get advice from anyone you can, be selective about it, but trust me, advice is always there. Don't count out the people who are younger than you. Don't count out the people though, that didn't go to school. Like. Trust me, when people want to help, they want to help. Which leads me to my second tip. Help is always there. Always there. It's always there. So if you know that help is always there, trust me, you're not going to have that feeling of everyone's against you anymore. You're going to realize everyone's just trying to raise you up. So week one, it's done. So glad that you are still watching these videos. I'm excited to keep doing this. I've made it a daily routine. I really look forward to setting up my camera, putting the memory card into the computer right over there. You can't see it, I'll show you next time. I wanna be flexing and like you could actually see something cause I really know my arms are very nothing. I could make this video because I know it's gonna change in a couple months, but yeah, I'm excited. I am Keith and thank you for watching. I got a text, so I gotta go. See you at day eight. Day eight, day seven right now. Day eight, week one. Woohoo!